I used to be stuck in the easy cycle. I would wake up, watch TV for an hour, then scroll through social media for another hour. After that, I would order takeout for lunch and spend the rest of the afternoon playing video games. I was happy and comfortable, but I wasn't growing or learning anything. One day, I realized that I was wasting my potential. I wanted to do more with my life, but I didn't know how to break free from the easy cycle. So I started doing some research, and I learned that easy things are dangerous. Easy things are dangerous because they keep you in your comfort zone and waste your potential. In this video, I'm going to talk about the different types of easy things, why they're dangerous, and how to break free from the easy cycle. What are easy things? Easy things are things that require little effort or thought. They're the things that we're tempted to do when we're bored, tired, or stressed. Some examples of easy things include Watching TV Scrolling through social media Eating fast food Shopping online Sleeping in Playing video games Procrastinating Easy things are not inherently bad. In fact, they can be a great way to relax and de-stress. However, it's important to note that easy things can become dangerous when we do them too much. Why are easy things dangerous? Easy things are dangerous because they keep us in our comfort zone. When we stay in our comfort zone, we don't grow or learn. We also miss out on new opportunities and experiences. Another reason why easy things are dangerous is because they can be addictive. When we do easy things, our brains release dopamine, a neurotransmitter that makes us feel good. The more we do easy things, the more dopamine our brains need to feel the same level of pleasure. This can lead to a vicious cycle where we become addicted to easy things and are unable to do the difficult things that are necessary for growth and success. Here are some specific examples of how easy things can be dangerous. If you watch too much TV, you may become less productive and more sedentary. This can lead to health problems such as obesity and diabetes. If you spend too much time on social media, you may start to compare yourself to others and feel inadequate. This can lead to mental health problems such as anxiety and depression. If you eat too much fast food, you may gain weight and develop health problems such as heart disease and stroke. If you shop online too often, you may spend too much money and get into debt. This can lead to financial problems and stress. If you sleep in too much, you may miss out on important opportunities and responsibilities. This can lead to problems at work or school. It's important to note that easy things are not inherently bad. In fact, they can be a great way to relax and de-stress. However, it's important to make sure that you're also spending time doing things that are challenging and rewarding. How to break free from the easy cycle. The first step to breaking free from the easy cycle is to become aware of it. Once you're aware of the easy cycle, you can start to make changes to your habits. One way to do this is to set goals for yourself and create a plan for how you're going to achieve them. For example, if you want to get in shape, you could set a goal of running 3 miles a week. Then, you could create a plan for how you're going to achieve that goal, such as running for 1 mile 3 days a week. Another way to break free from the easy cycle is to find a community of people who are also working to achieve their goals. Having a support system can help you stay motivated and on track. Here are some additional tips for breaking free from the easy cycle. Identify your triggers. What are the things that make you most likely to give in to easy things? Once you know your triggers, you can start to develop strategies for avoiding them. Make it difficult to do easy things. For example, if you're trying to watch less TV, put the TV in a different room or unplug it. If you're trying to eat less fast food, delete the fast food apps from your phone. Make it easy to do difficult things. For example, if you're trying to get in shape, put your workout clothes out the night before so you can get dressed and start working out as soon as you wake up. If you're trying to learn a new skill, find an online course or tutor that can help you stay on track. Reward yourself for doing difficult things. When you achieve a goal, give yourself a small reward. This will help you stay motivated and keep moving forward. Breaking free from the easy cycle is not easy, but it is possible. By following these tips, you can start to make changes to your habits and achieve your goals. 
Easy things are dangerous because they keep you in your comfort zone and waste your potential. If you want to grow and achieve your goals, you need to start doing the difficult things. I know it's not easy to step outside of your comfort zone. It's scary and uncomfortable. But it's the only way to grow and achieve your dreams. So what are you waiting for? Start doing the difficult things today. You won't regret it.